Emil, can you hear me okay? Good morning. Hey, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just making coffee and I'm gonna go get on my desktop upstairs. Okay. Hey, Mel, can you still hear me? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not too quiet, too loud. It sounds okay? Yeah, it sounds okay to me. Okay, just making sure. Thanks. <clears throat> Oh my God. Jesus, that's happening. God, that took my breath away. <laughs> I was trying to pick up something heavy. <laughs> Just so you know, oh. we, are, we are recorded right now. Just a heads up. <laughs> my mute. It's, it's <laughs> Good morning, Julie. How are you? Good. I just want to make sure you're aware we are being recorded right now. So just yeah. heads up. Yeah, that's fine. You can see me, can you? No, I cannot see you. <laughs> okay, good. Just a disclaimer that we're being recorded. <laughs> I saw that, but I forgot. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Okay. I just I just wanted to make sure you guys knew. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you feeling this morning? Good. Okay, good. Good. You've got this. You've got this. <laughs> I've got my cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, so far it's just the three of us on besides you. Well, so uh Chris some Christy's coming on too. Somebody else is coming on right now too. We'll see what happens. Okay. You guys joined early. Well, wanted Are to make sure that we were here for you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I, I made up a cheer, you know, I can do it for you if you need me to. <laughs> there we go. Rah, rah. So when you, guys, you get to the point where you can maybe teach a class, think about this. Just think about what I told you yesterday. Because <laughs> at one point you guys, yep. you'll teach yep. a class. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Yep. You will. So, so, so I was in theater for a very long time. I even auditioned for the movie Dangerous Minds. Oh, nice. So I'm, <laughs> I'm actually really comfortable talking and being in front of people. So I'm good. That's good. It's just that I think for me, it's like, okay, I just want to make sure I've got all the content, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That can be nerve wracking. It's not being on camera for me. It's because I've done that for a long time. It's, it's other stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Right. It's the, it's the knowledge part of it. Correct. Yes. Yeah. But like I said, when you teach, you learn. And every, every single time, every single time I learn something. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so what, um, what are we going to be working in today? Are we going to be in command? We're command designs today. Yep. Okay. So go into command. It, if you want to follow along, that would be awesome. Absolutely. And welcome to everybody else who's jumped on. Um, Chip, I see Chip. We have five more minutes. So we want to be in the designs uh, applet, right? Yes. Uh, actually, I mean, I'm going to show you how to get there, but you, you can start there if you want to. Okay. Because like always, I always share some tips before I dive in. Of course, of course. <laughs> Side story trainings, but I've, I actually have them written down today. I have my notes that's, today. That's, that's <laughs> the best part. <laughs> what? That's the best part, I said. Yeah. When you get off topic, my, I learned my work class, I was like, where are my notes? Luckily, I've I've been in the system a thousand times. <clears throat> Welcome, Abriana. We'll start in about three minutes. Can you all see my screen or just somebody just tell me yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. So today I'm testing out, I bought a secondary portable screen, which makes it a heck of a lot easier when I can move the, the whole Zoom all the pictures over to the other screen. So you guys will be my guinea pigs today for the second screen. I use one at home, but I've never used a portable one before. So if you're not from my market center, um, if you want, um, what market center are you from in our region? I'm just curious. Like Chip, Abriana. Joe, <laughs> anyone else? You camera shy? Okay, guys, it's 10 o'clock. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, so in the chat, I've put my information in there. So my name is Kristen Howard. I'm the tech trainer at Indy Metro North in, in the Indianapolis area. I've also put my email in there. And the reason I do that is when I teach classes, I don't claim to know everything about the system. I do. Um, I, I obviously come prepared, but if, I, if there's something that I can't answer for you, 
I just suggest that you send an email to me if we come across something, say, and I'll, I'll just say, just shoot me an email and I'll, I always say, I always find out for you. So um, today we'll be talking about command designs and we'll be touching on the different template options that are available to you. And before I dive into that, I actually wanna show you two sites that you might not be aware of, and you might, you might not be, but our region has a website called kwovr.com where the library of uh, saved and recorded, not every single training is recorded, this one is being uh, recorded, but our regional tech, tech director puts them on here, um, right here, regional command videos, if you want to watch past trainings. So just be aware that this does exist. And you can go down here and look at, okay, what do I wanna learn about? And you click on it and you can find a video about it. So that's the first thing I wanna mention. The second thing is there is a site called answers.kw.com. So I get a lot of my information here. If I don't have that the answer, I need an answer. You can go into command and or just search what you're looking for. So I just wanted to share those two, two websites with you. If you have any questions at all as I'm going along, feel free to unmute yourself and ask the question. And, or you can put it in the chat. The chat's actually to my right on a different screen. So I'll make, I'll try to keep occasionally looking there. But um, if you are following along with me, you can go ahead and log into command. It's agent.kw.com. And this is your home screen right here. And before I dive into the designs tab, I actually wanna show you everybody's home screen might look a little different, but on your home screen, the newest design updates that KW, uh, provides to us are usually uploaded here. So just be aware of that right here. If you don't see it up here, just scroll down your home page. It might actually be down at the bottom. It depends how your screen is laid out. So if you hover over this KW right here or click on it, all of these open up. Or if you just hover over these icons, you can see what each thing means. So we are actually going to go into the designs icon or click on it. It looks like a paintbrush, like with a piece of paper. When you open designs, so just if, you're, if you've been in here before, something has, this layout has changed. As of late last week, they changed it. So if this does not look familiar, let me just update you with what has happened here. So on this main page, anything you've ever created in designs will show up here. If you want to narrow it down, like which, how, which templates did I create for email? Which templates did I create for social? This is how you narrow it down. If you have not created anything, nothing will be here. So I want to actually go create a design. So you click create design. And this is actually probably what you're used to seeing before. I used to, I think sit right at the top of the screen, but now you have to click create design to see this information. The first thing we're going to dive into today is uh, email. So, I'm gonna cover email, social print, and if we have time, I'll get into this video right here. So I'm going to click email because I want an email template. Now, just so you know, I'm showing you how to create a template. I'm not necessarily showing you how to email it out, like, because these designs work with uh, smart plans and campaigns. I'm not necessarily showing the smart plans and campaign side. I'm just showing you how to create the template to use with either social media, or smart plan campaigns, just to provide some clarity. So I click on email if I want to create an email template and I hit continue. So if you have designed any in the past, they'll be under my design templates and KW has also created and given you templates as well. You'll notice down here that there are 72 total templates. So if you don't see them all on one page, you just click load more. Now be aware that some of these templates, when you open them, they'll look like a different language or gibberish. That's not a, a technical error. It's just because it wants you to fill in your information like on these newsletters right here. Some of them already have content in them. Like let's click on this financial health. Sorry about that, hold on just a second. You have to hit next. So you select what you the template and then you hit next. So you'll see here, it actually has content. So 
once again, some like the newsletters, you have to fill in the content, some you it's already there, but you can still modify the content. So just to be aware of that. So I'm actually gonna start working on this particular um, piece right here. So you can see what I can change and what I can modify. So let me just a second. So you can see if I click on this, I can change the image over here. So I can replace this image. I can pull in images from my computer. If I wanted to pull in uh, like listing information from one of my listings, you can click listing images. What's really cool about our system is that it's attached to the KWLS, which is pretty much nationwide. Um, it'll pull up nationwide listings. When I search by, uh, I usually search by MLS number because I think it gets more specific. So if I wanted to find a picture from my a listing of mine, I'm going to pull in an MLS number in here real quick. Oh, I bet you it's pending. <laughs> These houses I pull up, they sell so fast, as you all probably know. Come on, two and nine. Come on. Okay, so there's one right here. So if I want to use the pictures from this listing to jump in here, I click this and it pulls up all of the listing pictures. So I can choose whichever picture I want to use. So let's say I want this right here and I hit replace. So even though it looks like it's done over here and replaced, you're like, what? why isn't it changing over here? You need to hit done and then it replaces it. So whatever you do over here will modify things over here, but you need to make sure you hit the done button, not the save button, because the save will save everything. The done button just saves what you're working on over here. If I want to modify this, I click the pencil and I can change all of this information right here. I can make it bold. You actually have to highlight it first, bold. I can change the font. I can change the size. And this actually right here, if you're using this email, this right here, if you want it to, um, if you're gonna put this in one of your smart plans, you can put like, let's say the person's, um, if you want first name, last name, you put that right here. So when you actually put it in one of your uh, smart plans, it will auto -pop, pull in that information. So once again, you hit done and it changes the information over here. Um, so if you, if you see down here, this looks kind of funky. So you're like, well, what's going on here? If you want to see what this really looks like, because this is pulling in from your marketing profile, you can click a preview and see what it really looks like. So you'll see it looks fine right there. You can see what it looks like on a desktop, on a mobile device, and an iPhone. So if it looks kind of weird on one of those, you can go back and edit it over here. Any questions so far? I actually do have a question. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, um, whenever you were doing, whenever you were changing the image, I'm sorry, but I kind of distracted. Um, can you go back really quick just to show me again? Um, yeah. Change that or how to how pull to that. Change it. So yeah. if you, you click whatever you want to modify, you, if you hover over it, click on it, you get this pencil. So that's how you can start editing it. And then I can replace the image and I can add images from my computer. Um, I think I deleted, I'm sorry, I deleted the image box. Is there a way to add that back? Um, yeah, hold on just a second. Let me hit done. See how I'm pulling? If you want a field that doesn't exist, you can pull it in. Now pay attention to that green line because that's where it's going to be dropped in. Okay. So if I, if I drop it here, it's gonna drop to the side. If I drop it here, 
Okay, so you can drag it. Okay, neat. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And if a, you drop a blank image in like this, it's gonna look like that you need to edit and then you replace it here. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, let me go into this text right here. So if I don't want this text, I can hit this trash can right here and that will get rid of it. So I always say designs is a system that you need to spend time in and play around in. I would say that you're not gonna break it <laughs> um, because it's, it takes some time to kind of get used to how it functions, but the more you can practice in any of the Keller Williams systems, the better. I always say, don't just take a class and then just keep taking classes. Make sure you're practicing. I know sometimes it's hard when you're selling real estate, but if you really wanna focus on learning something specific in command, I would get like hyper-focused and say, okay, I'm gonna practice like at least once a week. So, because it just takes some time to, to understand how it functions. And, it, but it's, it's not like rocket science. It's just, it's just using it, if that makes sense. So if I wanted to add like an event block, I have to pay attention to where the green line is. Let's say I want to add it right here. That gives me a whole block like where I can, you don't have to just put in the type first, the picture first. It actually gives you all the information if you want a whole block of information. If I want this, let me edit this right here. Let's say I want this to be a button that when they click on it, it goes somewhere like my website. You can click here. Now, well, something I have learned about this button text, it won't let you type a lot. <laughs> um, you typing, it'll, yeah, see it stops me. So it needs to be like, click here, learn more here or something like that. You can change the background color of this, it's, but keep in mind, it's not gonna change until I hit done. So even though I'm making changes over here, this is not gonna change until, until I hit done. I can link this to a landing page. Let's say I had created a landing page in command, a web address. So you can link this so it goes somewhere. Let me go get a website real quick. So what you would do to get your website is just click on it, right click, copy, and then you can paste it right in here. I can't hear you anymore. Can you hear me? Can every, anybody else hear me? No? No. Okay, hold on. Bare, barely. I can hear you, but you have like kind of gotten quieter. How about that? There you go. Is that better? Much better. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I sometimes when I'm on Zoom and more people get on, it, it makes me more quiet. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm doing over here is going to change over here when I hit done. So I changed the button text. I added a web address and I added a different background color. You can position if you want it left, right, center. You can change the info, like the width and the height if you wanted this bigger or smaller. And when I hit done, it changed it right there. Now, side note, if I go hit the preview button again and I go try to click on that link, it's not gonna work yet. So just so you know, this is just kind of a, a still picture. It's just showing you what it's gonna look like. Now, when you save it and activate it, then that link will work. So just be aware of that. Um, if you wanted to add, I mean, you can pretty much add anything. You can take a text box. So you just have to pay attention where the green line is going. I would also, um, don't forget to name this as you go along. Just, just like any other document you wanna name. And save. Now if I hit save and exit, it, it'll go back to designs. Um, you can send a test email right here or preview it again. I'll actually send it to myself if you want to take a look at that. So it might take a minute to go come over to my email.
we might have to come back to it. Because <laughs> email, as you all know, likes to come through when it wants to come through. Yeah, we'll go, if I forget, like, just tell me to go back to that. Um, let's say I want to add a market snap. So market snap is going to be like information about a particular neighborhood. And this is where you would put in the postal code. You I'm can, sorry, can you, can you stop for one second? You said sure. you wanted to add what? It's called a market snap. Okay. And it's basically going to pull in market statistics. And where so, did you get that from? So let me, um, let me go back real quick. Okay, so over here, so I'm on the template main page. And over to the right, you have some oh, market, I see it. over here, market snap, and then yeah. you just drag it to where you want it to go on the template. Got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So if I want to edit this to actually add the, the neighborhood information into it, I need to hit this pencil right here. Actually, hold on just a second. I think I just, it, let me get rid of this. Hold on. Market snap. Let me put this under here. There we go. So I can change this header if I don't want this. I can say like um, market stats for 46033. And then I can get more specific and click on a neighborhood if I only want the stats from that neighborhood. So let me see if there's a neighborhood in here. Yeah, you can also just start typing and see if it pulls up. Yeah, well, let me go here. Let me go to Ashton, let me hit done. Okay, so as you see, it pulled it in over here. Can you and, add for more than one neighborhood or no? Um, that is a good question. You'll get I, back to me. Well, what I think you can do, and if somebody knows this answer, feel free to pop in. <laughs> but um, uh, let, let me edit that real quick. I've only done it for one neighborhood at a time. I can imagine you can add multiple market stats or snaps like underneath each other. Like I can add another one and just choose another neighborhood. Maybe if we That's, hold control down. Does that make sense? No, like say I, that again, I'm sorry. If I wanted two neighborhoods, uh -huh. let me, I would just, let me get rid of this. I would drag. Oh, I'm one. sorry. It's okay, yes. I would drag another one. I don't know a way to add multiple ones to this. If somebody knows that, feel free to speak up. But um, I would add gotcha. another one down here. Yeah, and that's 246032. Sure. And then when I hit done, hold on, just a second. I don't think it hung in there. Let me select the neighborhood. And then done. Okay, so I have two of them right there. Wait, thank you. Sure. And are you sure that's clear? I just want to make sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Um, just other things here, like this will undo the last thing you just did. You can either delete something, or if you just did something, like how I just added that market stat, this would undo it right here. So pull it out of there. Um, you can, as you see, you can add numerous different things over here. I don't get into every single one because I need to move on to other parts of command. But this is basically how you can create um, your own email template if you want to send out an email through command. So let me actually go back to see that email. Okay, there it is. So that email that I sent to myself as a so just as a reminder, I went here and I hit, I sent a test email. So this is the email, the test email. Now, obviously this doesn't look perfect because I'm just messing around with it. But if I click learn more here, it should take me to that, that webpage that I linked it to. So this is basically the end user looking at the email that I created and I sent to her, but this is just a rough draft of it. So if you're, you know, I know some people 
get worried about, okay, what, what does it look like before I send it out? I want to see it. This, I would just send yourself a test email before you actually email it to somebody. Now, once again, this is only the template. There's a whole nother class that talks about how you send this in an email. So this designs class is just showing you how to work with the templates. So um, any questions before I move on to, uh, we'll move on to social media graphics. I actually have a question about editing the text. Uh huh. When you're in there editing your text, um, it says, um, there's some words that are in between two stars, like the what's it called? The Aristic? I can't say that yes, word. Right here. Um, yeah, down sometimes, down here. sometimes over there to the right where it says when you go to edit it, um, sometimes you'll see things between two little stars oh, over here on the right. Go all the way to the right. This over, right, here? Those, over here? Yeah, sometimes okay. you'll see words be between the two stars. Um, when you go to edit those words that are in there, do you have to leave the stars or can you get rid of those little? Are you talking about like this right here? Hold on. So actually I'm on my, where it says right. agent first name. Yeah, down there at the bottom, right there. No, you so don't you go to, to that's just pulling in from your, um, see if I, if you do a preview and you see what it really looks like, it doesn't really come through like that. It comes through like that. Right, that's but. Is my license number supposed to be there for everybody to see? Um, you can, if you don't want it there, you can take it out. It, it, your license number, it depends on what state you're in, but in the state of Indiana, it's anybody can look at it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Yeah, Got I can it. pull up your license number because it's public record in, in our state. If I go to okay. the licensing, yeah. Never mind then. That's okay. Um, any other questions before I move on? So I hit um, save and exit. And I do wanna show you one more thing before we go into uh, the social media graphics. If I create a design and I do the email and I hit continue and I choose one of those, I just wanna show you what the newsletters look like that look mumble jumble, just so you know <laughs> that it's not you on your end. So if I click on newsletter and I have to hit next to get it going, see how all this down here doesn't make any sense? That's on purpose because we determined, what, we determined that was German. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, it might be, but um, that it's, it's like that on purpose. It's basically saying you need to fill in this information because if you're sending out a newsletter, it's your content. But if you're sending out one of the templates that has to do with loans or mortgages, that's more general content that KW can provide to you. But newsletters is more like your stuff, if that makes sense. So that's why, so if you get in here and you're like, what is the deal? It's not just you, it's, it's that way on purpose. So it's for you to modify the text. Also real quick, if you wanted to duplicate this field or any of these fields, you just hit that duplicate button. That's what that means. If I don't want it, I just trash it. Um, I need it to get the show, show up again. Um, you can move these up and down. So that's what that does. So just so you're aware of what those items do right there. So whenever I hit save and exit, it takes me back to my designs main page. So next I want to show you how to um, get into the social media graphics. So once again, you go up to create design because in the past we used to have this plus sign down here. So just be aware, I haven't seen that since they made this change. I, it's just up here, you hit create design. And you need to select social because that's the type of template you want to work on next. Now you can import photos and text from a listing here. I actually like to do it when I'm actually inside the template. Once again, this is connected to the KWLS, which is like the national MLS system for Keller Williams. So I'm clicking social, I click continue. And it's thinking about it. <laughs> Hold on just a sec, there we go. So here you will have lots of options for social media graphics. You have information and graphics about the KW app. 
If you need graphics about listings, you have a lot of them here. You can just click through these. Like I said earlier, just get in here and play around with the system. Sometimes when this page pops up, if you're not used to design systems, it can look a little overwhelming. Just know, I, you know, it's just keep playing with it and you'll get more comfortable with it. Now, if you've ever used Canva design system, this is similar. So I'm just going through and showing you all of your options here. You can even create business cards in here. Now, before you dive in to one of these templates, I suggest that you go to assets first. Assets is a place to add your information that you use a lot. Like if you use colors a lot, if your team uses certain colors a lot, this is a place to add those colors. And by doing so, you don't have to keep pulling them in when you're working on designs. They're just gonna be in your account once you add these. So even if you don't use colors, certain colors, you can put your image in here. You just upload right here and you can do it from your computer, from Google Drive, Dropbox, and these other ways right here. So I, yesterday I uploaded my picture right here. And by doing so, anytime I'm in a designs option, it's my, that picture is an option for me just to pull in. I don't have to go find it on my computer since it's now in the KW design system. If there's text that you use often, if there are logos, I can imagine this being a popular one because some people have their own logos. So you would upload from your device or drive or these other systems here. But I would advise you do this first before you dive in. It's not, if you forget, it's okay. It just helps you when you're actually working on the templates. So you go back to templates. And if you ever wanna see anything that you've saved, you can also go into my designs. And this is where a lot of people ask me, they're like, I have a PDF in like for shred day and I want to put my information on top of it. This is where you can import that file right here. And then when you go back to templates, you can start working on it and you can just drop your information on top of it. So let's say I have a new listing and let's say I just listed it. And I want to tell my social media, the people, my social media contacts about it. So as you can see, there are lots of options. And what this means is these are um, the best, like if you're gonna use, especially Instagram, Square is probably best on Instagram. So these are just different sizes for your graphic. If you're using Twitter, oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> just a second, hold on, let me go back to just listed. So obviously Twitter doesn't want to show me anything. So anyway, the point being, these are different sizes for different social media platforms. So if I want to create a, a just listed social square um, I, or graphic, I just can scroll through and, and take a look at these that I have offered to me. So let's say I want to use this one. As you see, when I hover over these graphics, you can click use. And that means that's the template I want to use. So this is, if you've ever used Canva, this is where it's similar to Canva. So I can change anything in here, but it's just nice because it's giving you the, the template that it starts the template for you. And then you can sit there and say, okay, I don't want this here. I want this over here. Um, if I wanted to change the, the font, I can change the font. Whatever you want to change, you need to click on the field first. And then you need to go change the font right there. I can change the size of the font. I can change um, this information down here. And I, I like to use this typewriter right here. Some people just go in here and start changing it here. You can do that too. But if I pull up the typewriter, so let me show you how, again, how I did that. So I, I click on the field and then I click on typewriter. It allows you to make the changes faster. If I hit save changes, it's gonna dump it in right there. If I take the corners, I can make it bigger and smaller. You can also do it with the font, uh, the sizes up here, but sometimes I just like to drag it like this. So the corners are gonna make it bigger and smaller. If you just hold the cursor in the middle, that's when you can pick up and move it. Now, if I wanted to add my picture, I 
click this right here. That means add. And then I can reduce it and just move it over wherever I want it. Let's say I wanted this picture in place of this picture. If I hit add, it's just gonna drop it on top of it. But if I wanna actually do a replace of this picture, you make sure the field is highlighted. You go over to the other picture and click replace and it just replaces it. So just wanted to show you the difference between add is just dropping it on top. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love when I train and it doesn't do what I want it to do. Sorry. <laughs> it typically just adds a picture on top. I think it's because the field was highlighted. Hold on a second. If I unhighlight that, okay. There we go. So it looks like if you highlight it, it will switch it out. But if you don't have the field highlighted and you just hit, let me just get another field, get out of here and hit the plus sign, it will just do drop it on top. So you're building in layers. Um, any questions so far about uh, social media graphics? Okay. Um, if I want to add my listings photos in here, there's the handy dandy KWLS um, information again. And this is where you can search by listing address, MLS number, and all these other ways. I personally like, once again, MLS number because it gets more specific because the KWLS is looking at listings all across the nation. So if I put in an address that might be similar to a different state, it might not find what I'm looking for. But if I put in the MLS number, it gets right to that listing, very specific. And there it is. So if I select this, it's going to pull through all the listing photos and all the listing details. So I toggle back and forth right here. So if I want this picture to be replaced by this picture, I highlight it, I go to this picture and I hit replace. If I want, if I don't like that, I can undo that right here. It goes back. So these are undo and redo, just like when we were doing the email templates, it's undoing and redoing the last step you just did. So if I want this picture here, I highlight the field and I see I clicked add image, so it clicked it right on top. That's what I was trying to show you before. So I actually want to replace it, so I hit this button right here. And I can modify this picture if I need to. If I want this information to change right here, I can go, yes, you can just type it out and change it to your listing address, but what makes it easier if you go to listing details, highlight the field, and let's say I want this address to go in there instead. The same thing as the pictures, you hit replace and see how it just changed out that address. Any questions about that? how these replace, like it's you're adding or replacing, but whatever, if you're doing a replacement, you have to highlight the field first. Highlight the field, go get the information that you want to replace it with and hit replace. If this is too small, I can um, go around and mess around in here. But this is definitely something you need to play around with. Um, so I know some people get in here and they're like, well, where did my pictures go? You have to make sure, or where did my listing go? You have to make sure you're clicked on the right, the correct icon on the left. See how that's changing. So when I click images, my images show up. When I click KWLS, that's when my listing stuff pulls up. So you have to make sure you're pulling in and clicking on the correct icon on the left before you can find the information you want. If you want to just add text yourself, you can do that and you can just drag it over. You can drag your own text over. If I don't like that, I can undo it or just trash it. If I want to duplicate this picture, I highlight the field and I can duplicate it. I don't want it, so I'm just gonna trash it. If you ever get to this, that's just holding a place for your photo that throws some people off. If you see that and you don't want it there, just hit delete. 
So in order to see these icons, you have to click on an actual uh, part of the, of, the, of the graphic. So if this doesn't show up, just know that you need to click on something and they will show up. Um, over here, elements, if you wanted for some reason, like a house, a graphic of a house, these graphics and images are all free and legally okay for you to use because they are in our system. So if you wanted, and we don't want to do that one, <laughs> the house on fire, um, you can just drag things over. So that just replaced it. I don't want that. I can undo it. Well, you can see this just flipped back to my images. So if you need to go back to your elements, you just click on elements again. You can also tab through these um, tabs at the top. So those are stock photos and you just would do, let's say I want a dog for some reason. You type in dog and it gives you a bunch of graphics for dogs and you can just drag and drop over it. Workspace shows you graphics that are like for, this is a map, pin, um, cell phone. So if you were making a graphic and you wanted to put your email address in there, but you wanted the icon, this is the email address icon, you can just drag it in and uh, like that. So let's say you want to, of course, it'd be smaller than that, but I can change this like to my email address right here. You get the point. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions about this? Because I know somebody in our office is on this call. Um, Julie, yesterday you had asked me like, how do I get to those images? Is this clear now or do you need me to show you again? No, I, I see I see how you do all of that. One one yeah. question that I have is to put um, like the the KW, the um, the center uh, that down there in the, the, yeah. Where do I pull that from? Where should that be? Okay, uh, excellent question. Um, so I don't know if you remember before we dove into this. Into the Kristen, approach. you just got really quiet. Okay, hold on. <laughs> is that better? Yes. No? Better, yes, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna turn myself all the way up. Is that better? Yes. Better? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, if I want to replace this image, when we first got into these graphics, these social media graphics, I told you to add information to your assets. So if you had added your logo to my assets, that's where you can click my assets when you hit logo my and see I have one in my system from in my assets. So I can click right here and I can click replace and it replaces it. So that's why I always say, try to put like your photo, your logo and your assets, um, which is at the beginning when we were first looking at the templates, it says my assets. And that's where you can add your color, your photos, anything that you use all the time, that's where you put them. And then once you start working on these designs, you can just, they're just under my assets, ready for you to use. Does that help? Yes, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So um, elements. Oh, I think I already showed you that. So I'm just going to touch on support right here because this is kind of a sidebar. So those that know me have know I have a tendency to do this. <laughs> um, okay, so when you need help with KW, and this applies for command as well, when you're in the main part of command, there's a question mark at the top right of your command. This is where you can get live help. And a lot of people don't know where it is because it's kind of hidden. Here it's more obvious. But the bot pulls up first and people are like, I don't want to talk to the bot. But from 10 a.m. Eastern, because they're in Austin, so it's 9 a.m. their time. I've noticed starting 10 a.m. Eastern, they you can do this live chat. So I do this probably every other day, if not every day, to get answers for our agents. So I just wanted to show you as a sidebar topic where to get help. And this is where you can get help from the Keller Williams support team live. You just have to make sure you wait till you see the get in touch button and you hit live chat. If you do this, sometimes this takes 24 hours, but they're usually, like, you know, it's usually always within 24 hours that they'll get back to you. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that was there because it's not only in support, but it's on your main page in command at the upper right. Okay, any questions about, because um, I'm just watching time here on um, social media designs. So and sorry, real quick, you can download these to your computer 
Um, this right here, I double checked with KW yesterday because I've heard different things about this button working and this button not. I'm just being honest. I was told yesterday, if your social media is attached to these different type of sites, you can share from here. They prefer you to share from um, uh, campaigns, like an email campaign, but I have been told this should work if you just wanna share directly onto one of your social media pages. Or once again, you can just download your computer and upload to one of your social, social media chain, uh, pages. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go back home and I hit save, because I didn't name this. You can name it right here if you want to, right here. I'll save it. Hi, this is Joe Wanga. I had a quick question. Sure. When you're doing the, the photos, uh -huh. um, when you're manipulating them to fit in the space that you want, is there an issue with distortion? I have never had that issue. Um, but that's a good question. I, I personally have never experienced that issue. Okay. Uh, you're saying like if you, um, like because it pulls from the MLS, like the ones from the MLS or just any photo? Well, just like any photo, like when you took the brokerage logo um, and you manipulated that small space and you have to stretch it out or whatever to get it to fit, if it like makes it look too, like too, too wide or get blurry or anything. Picks, like all the pixels. Yeah. Um, I think it depends on the type of file. Any file I personally used doesn't hasn't had an issue, but I think if you have a, a poor file that looks pixely, that could possibly happen. Okay. Yeah, I hope that helps. Thank you. Okay, so once again, I'm back. Um, so the assets is where I was telling you to add your logo. And once you add that logo and you're in the templates, you can just pull it in and hit the replace. Let me jump out of this real quick. So that X at the upper right just takes me back to my main designs page. And so now we're gonna jump into uh, print design. So print design functions a lot like the social media graphics. So you'll see on the main page before I move on that anything I've just created showing you and I've saved it is saved to my main page. Once again, if I wanted to just see my social media posts, it just narrows it down there. So I want to create a social media, I'm sorry, a, a, a print graphic. So you hit create design, hit print and hit continue. I'm sorry, Kristen, how did, Kristen, how did you get back there to- um... the, the main page? Yeah. Okay, so I was in a page that looked very similar to this. There's an X right here and it dumps me back to the main page. Got it, thank you. You're welcome. So I'm back on the main page, so I need to hit create design, hit the type of template I'm looking for is print, and I hit continue. This is actually gonna look feel like very close to the um, social media graphics. So it almost looks like it's the same thing, but they're actually print graphics. So I like to show um, you kind of how to get in and find a listing contract, not a contract, a listing presentation. Um, but once again, these are all of your options when it comes to uh, print designs. So as you see, you have lots, lots and lots of options. This is for leadership. That means the like KW staff. Um, if you're a luxury agent in Keller Williams, there's the luxury information. And then the newest designs would be found here. And the new designs at the beginning, I also mentioned they are found on your main page in your home page. So let's say I um, want a listing presentation. So I go and click on the tab listings and I click listing presentation. So you can go through and take a look at these and decide which one do I want to use. And let's say I'm going to use uh, this one right here. So I click on use. And I personally don't have experience with printing things through the system yet, but just know that that is available to you. Um, I think most people would probably just download their presentation and print at their office, but I believe you can get it professionally printed here um, along with other printed items. 
and uh, you just kind of go through that process and it walks you through how to order it. So you don't necessarily have to use all of these pages right here. You just, you're going to select what you want to be in your listing presentation. So if I want this page, I click on that right there. And if I want this page, by the way, when it says instructions, those instructions are actually for you. <laughs> so this, this isn't really a page for your clients. It's just giving you instructions about how to kind of put your presentation together. So I'm probably not even gonna use this one right here. So if I click this right here to add a new page, um, it drops it into the presentation. Now, if I want to see the order and how many pages I have in my presentation, I go down here to pages and you can see all the pages I've added. I actually like to keep this open as I'm adding pages just to see what it's looking like. So I noticed it does add an initial blank page. I haven't quite figured out how why that is yet, but I just go and I delete it. So you can see you can change the order of the presentation. If you don't want the page in any, there anymore, you can delete it or you can duplicate it so that you have two of the same page. If I want to add this, I add a new page and it drops it in. So you kind of get the idea of I'm building the, the presentation just by adding pages from this template. So you don't necessarily have to use every page. You're picking and choosing what you want your presentation to look like. So if I want to start editing it, it's just like anything else in designs, you can start clicking on the fields and changing the information. If I don't want that font, I can change it up here. I can move this around. Just like the other templates I've been showing you, it's, it works just the same. So here I can go to the KWLS, just like I did on the other social media graphic and type in, I, like I said, I like to do my MLS number. my house, my listing. And so if I want to change this picture out, I highlight it. Just a second, my computer just froze. Hold on just a sec. <laughs> Got to refresh this page. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, so if I want, let me see if it saved that. Yeah, it did. So if I wanna see the pages I was working on, I click pages. And if I want to change this photo out with this photo, I highlight the field and replace the image. I can move anything around, just like the social media graphic. If I had added my logo to my assets, I can just say, replace it with my logo. I can add elements just like I could on the um, on the social media graphic. And I can pretty much do everything I was doing on that social media graphic on this presentation. Any questions about this, how I'm adding new pages or um, just remember down here, if you don't see this, you need to click pages right here. And that's how you can see what you're building. Once again, I can move these around. Uh, hold on just a sec. If I go to logos, let me see. Okay, I just wanted to show you under workspace and this is applies the same as the social media graphic. If you go to logos, just um, you have Keller Williams logos available right there if you don't have your own or just wanna use a KW logo. So that's under logos and workspace. If you want a luxury logo, they're right there. And I'm getting back to that folder by clicking the arrow back. Okay, I have about 10 minutes. Um, so you can download here. You can, I would name it right here. And you can just hit done when you're done with this. You hit done. Hold on, let me just name, name it real quick.
So any questions about that before I move on to the last uh, 10 minutes? The last 10 minutes is a pretty, it's about video. And a lot of people don't know this exists either. So jump in if you have any questions at all before I, I'm about to move on. So as you can see, I'm back on the main page of designs. If I click create design, and the last option is video. I have to hit continue. This will create, and this kind of takes a minute to load. This will create a short tutorial graphic that moves and is visual. And because if I always say when you do social media, you want people to stop the scroll, stop scrolling. So if you, um, you probably provide them something with some statistics that aren't just static and they're actually moving, it's more engaging. So let me see if I can pull up, see if this will work. Okay. So as you see, this our KWLS system is connected to every state. So I need the one that's I'm looking for is this one right here, Foster States in Carmel, Indiana. So that's highlighted because it's checked and I hit next. So this automatically pulls in the latest statistics. Now, if you um, want to modify, you can modify. Personally, I, I typically keep it as is. Um, you can change days on market, number of homes for sale, um, the price, but this is pulling up the, uh, the current sale price, everything. So I probably would keep it as is. And then um, if you have any information to change in here about yourself, because your information will be at the end of the little video and information about your office will also be in there. So you can modify it before we hit next and actually have the system create the video. So when I hit next, it's generating a video. That's how easy this is. <laughs> it's just putting in a neighborhood and making sure your information is correct. But as you can see, it takes a little bit. Oh, there it goes. And then if I hit play, So short enough, <laughs> um, let me actually go into my videos. This is how you can download it. You can share on social. So this basically took you straight into like a social campaign. If you've never been in this section, it's just think of this as like a Facebook post. Now keep in mind your Facebook business page needs to be connected to command under settings here before this can actually happen. So make sure, and I believe it has to be a business page. So make sure your connection is right there. And this is where I would enter the text of the post, just like if I were posting on Facebook or whatever social media platform. Um, you can schedule posts at different days and times, or I can publish this now. This is telling me where it will go because that's the account I have it connected to. And this lets you preview the post right here. So I won't play that again, but um, so you can just publish posts. I can save this draft for later. And if I do, it'll be saved in my campaigns. The draft, the, email, the post draft will be under campaigns. So you'll, you can see in, with campaigns and, and smart plans, it's connected to when you design things, you can go start a campaign and you can just pull things in from um, command. I mean, so from designs. See that? 
So everything's very interconnected, which is very helpful when you're working on things. You don't have to keep pulling in from your computer and downloading and uploading. Um, any questions at all about that at all? The video, the little videos I just made? Any questions overall? And then the last thing I ask is, did you learn one thing today? <laughs> I, my goal is to, to have you learn at least one thing. I just, does somebody want to volunteer something? You can either just say yes. <laughs> or Learned many say, things. Okay. <laughs> and that typically happens, you know, when we teach classes that are broad, broad like this. And um, I would really think, okay, I'm going to learn how to do videos this week. Instead of saying to myself, I need to learn how to do everything she just showed me, just make, give yourself a goal, time block the time and say, I'm going to learn how to do the videos. I'm going to learn how to do social media, like master a thing at a time. Because I think what happens when agents get into the system, the system is awesome because it does tons of different things, but they get in here and they're like, this is, I, I don't even know what to do. So just think, this is my goal this week, and this is what I'm going to focus on. And I know when you're selling real estate, because I used to sell real estate, so I've been in your shoes. I know it's hard to balance learning with selling and managing your transactions. But if you time block it and say, okay, I'm going to do this for one hour on Friday mornings. So that's just my best tip for that. So to try to not get overwhelmed by everything I just talked about today or this system because you don't need to know everything right now. You just need to know what's gonna get you business, keep you in business. And then as you get comfortable with those systems and learning those systems, move on to the next, next thing. So that's just my tip for today. <laughs> um, I appreciate you all being here. Um, I'm trying to see uh, in my email, if, if I didn't answer something is in the chat. So feel free to email me. And I appreciate you um, being patient and I hope you did learn at least one thing today. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen, appreciate it. Uh, sure, you guys have a good one. Yeah, you too, we'll see you a little later. Okay.